Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a monthly favorites video. I feel like I haven't done one in a while. I actually cannot remember which month was the last month that I did a monthly favorites for. Was it possibly my yearly favorites? I may have done one in like March, but it's been a while, obviously. And let's just get right on into my favorites. My very first favorite for the month of July is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Now, I have not posted a video using it yet. I do plan to in a couple of weeks. I've just got so many other videos that I want to film and do, so like, it's coming. I will be making a video using this palette. Everything from He Devil and on, just like, can we take a moment? These colors, there was something about the darkness of Low Blow but like the shade of cayenne that would make this palette like my favorite palette ever. It comes close, but I've been really enjoying this palette for the month of July. My next beauty related favorite is the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. I'm pretty sure this is a sample size. This is a wonderful moisturizer. I use it after I shower, before I go to bed, and it just feels light on the skin, really hydrating. I feel like it's making my skin look nice and dewy and glowy, and I've been really enjoying this. As for a fragrance favorite for the month of July, I have been obsessed with Yves Saint Laurent's Manifesto L'Elixir. I still don't think I can say that properly, but I did do a full review of it here on my channel, so you can go check out that video for all the reasons why I love this, but I said that I was going to save it until fall to wear it, but honestly, I've been wearing this even though it's not fall yet. It's just, it's delicious. It's warm, cozy, cashmere, delicious, gourmand. I'm obsessed with this. I'm pretty sure that I did do a favorites video since my yearly favorites because it's coming back to me. This company made favorites in my last favorites video and they did it again. I've got new favorites from them. They're gorgeous. When I saw that these were releasing, I had to have them. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Oh my god. Galaxy print Gymshark leggings. What? These are gorgeous. I would show you guys the sports bra too, but I wore it yesterday and it's in the wash and nobody wants to see a sweaty sports bra. So these are the Gymshark quartz leggings and honestly, when I saw these, I think my eyes had like an eyegasm because just, I love the color blue and the color purple and I love leggings and I love Gymshark and I love like galaxy stuff and I just, I had to have them. They're super comfy, they're quite stretchy, and the next thing from Gymshark that I'm completely in love with, if you've been on my channel for more than like two seconds, you know that this is one of my favorite colors in the face of the planet, and now I have seamless leggings in this color. What? How gorgeous! I'm so mad at myself, I forgot that it was the day that these were launching, and I realized what day it was an hour after they launched, and I like ran onto their website like, oh god, are they still gonna have anything left? And surprisingly, they still had the leggings, they sold out of the sports bra in every size ever, so I'm waiting for a restock because I need the matching sports bra, but these leggings, I'm pretty sure my last favorites video I was talking about the blue version of these and how amazing they are, and now they come in this color and life just got so much better. I will say these strangely fit a tiny bit tighter than the blue version of the exact same legging. Like, the fabric feels like it stretches a tiny bit less. But I still also got these in a size small, and I got them in the full length, because I typically don't really wear crop length, and I still adore the detailing at the bottom, and the ribbing on the sides, and the underbutt lines on this one don't really look like sweat lines, because they are lighter than the rest of the red, and just, I'm in love. So my next favorite is the Vanity Planet Body Analyzer Scale. I did do a little review and demo on how this works in my Emo Night Brooklyn and Acai Bowl video that I posted I think a week or two ago. I had been looking for a new scale and this one just, it does everything that I could ever need a scale to do and more. It tells me my weight, my body fat percentage, my water weight, my muscle mass, my bone density, which I don't really need to know but it's cool to know anyway and it's just, it's quite accurate and it's fun to be able to track all of the things that I can track while I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. If any of you guys out there are looking for a new scale, you can use my coupon code right here and get yourself 60% off of Vanity Planet and then you can also be able to track everything like I've been tracking. And I just, I really like numbers. I like tracking things. It's just, it's really entertaining and I like watching numbers move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop now. But this is a favorite. And like I mentioned, the video that I demo the scale in is my acai bowl recipe and that has definitely been a July favorite. I don't know what it has been about July, but I have just been craving cold, fruity, smoothie things with like crunchy granola and superfoods, 
and I've just been loving making my acai bowls. So acai bowls are a favorite of the month of July, and if you want to see how I make my favorite one, it's in that same video with the body analyzer. I think my last favorite for the month of July has definitely been the amount of music and live concerts that I've gone to this month. I don't think I've ever gone to so many concerts in such a short span of time, ever. We started the month off with Nickelback and Daughtry, and before you click out of this video and thumbs me down, don't hate. There were plenty of people at that Nickelback concert singing along with me, and it was a grand time. And as I said in the picture that I posted on Instagram, I don't think that Nickelback is some sort of like musical genius god group, like they're not blessing this earth with the most magical, beautiful music on the face of the planet. It's just got a good beat, and it's easy to sing along to, and it's repetitive sounding, so it's good for working out, and I really, like, leave me alone. I, I appreciate Nickelback. Like, what? <laughs> him slightly and so I, I force him to do it sometimes. It's mildly sadistic of me. You ready? I'll write some stuff for you to sing. You, you can write whatever you want, I'll sing whatever you want. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I like your feet around your back. I didn't have any concerts planned for about three weeks, but two days before the next concert I went to, I just happened to see that there were tickets on StubHub and they weren't that expensive. So I got the tickets and then I went to go see Taking Back Sunday for the third time and oh my god, I think that was the craziest Taking Back Sunday concert that I have ever experienced. Each and every single one has been crazy. I have been beaten to almost death at every single Taking Back Sunday concert. Honestly, it's like a safety hazard going to a Taking Back Sunday concert. Like, the crowd is crazy at Taking Back Sunday. I don't know what it is about them, but every time I leave one of those, I feel like I worked out for a week straight. Like, nonstop. Like, no sleep, no eat, just at the gym. Being, being a punching bag. Not even punching a punching bag, being the punching bag. And this time, some girl decided to crowd surf from relatively somewhere behind my brother and I, and no one was ready for her, and she just kind of flopped on top of us, and one of her feet smashed into my brother's mouth, and the other foot smashed into my ear, and I turn around to check on my brother after she had been thrown away from us, and he's just bleeding out of his mouth, and I'm like, oh my god, did you lose a tooth? But no, thankfully, just like a cut in his lip, and she ripped out one of my earrings. Thankfully, didn't rip out my ear, because if you guys don't know, I wear like these kind of earrings that just, they, they stay in your ear, but somehow she managed to rip it out without ripping my earlobe. But that was fun. Thank you guys very much. Here's what's gonna happen right now. Right now, we are going to... Die. Where's that in? Go ahead. Oh man, you were just giving me that look like, oh, please be back. Please be back. Please be back. Daddy wants to go home. Please be back. Please be back. Daddy wants to go home. Here's what's gonna happen. Now, or here's how I hope it will go, we'll see, the rest will be up to you guys, but we're going to do a team building exercise right now. Is everyone okay with this? Okay. We pay for music! So, I'm going to say, 
Hey, this is our last song. And you guys are probably gonna go, oh, or boo, or tisk, tisk, or whatever it is. One more song. And then I'm gonna be like, I wish we had more time. I'm sorry. And you're gonna be like, all right, it's okay. And then I'm gonna say the name of the song. And then we're gonna play it. And then we're gonna leave the stage. And if all goes well, you guys are gonna be like, We're gonna come out like, oh shit, I guess. But uh, okay, if you guys really want it, you know, the whole thing. And then we're gonna, you know, play another uh, couple more songs. So, okay. Are you guys ready? Is everybody cool with this? Hey, uh, could you guys hit just a big E chord with the thing so it seems like we just ended the song? Okay. Good. Brooklyn, which for the third time in this video I'm going to be mentioning that vlog video. If you guys have never heard of Emo Night Brooklyn, check out that video if you like emo kid music from like the thousands because <sighs> honestly Emo Night Brooklyn is the greatest thing that has ever been created. It's basically every single song that you get excited that's like alternative rock, pop rock, every time you get excited to hear one of those songs because it reminds you of your angsty youth, just back to back to back and everybody screaming along and having a blast and it's the best thing ever. So I went to that the night before Taking Back Sunday and they had a special guest and it was the lead singer of Every Time I Die and Every Time I Die opened for Taking Back Sunday. So it was all intertwined and craziness and so much fun. I'm also very happy that I went to that Taking Back Sunday concert because Webster Hall is being closed down for like two years. I think they're being renovated or have new owners or something and if you're not in New York you have no idea what Webster Hall even is, but it's like a famous concert venue and they're closing it down in like a month so I got to go to one of the last shows at Webster Hall so that was that was a nice way to say goodbye almost losing my ear, my brother almost losing his tooth just fun times, fun times so Emo Night Brooklyn was Friday Taking Back Sunday was Saturday and then that Wednesday I went to an Incubus and Jimmy Eat World concert second time seeing both of those bands love both of them so so much the crowd, though, was so lame. Honestly, I have never experienced such a lame crowd at a concert. My brother and I were standing up for that concert, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've heard 
probably all of the stories I'm going to tell about these concerts. But if you don't, you should totally follow me on Instagram, because what are you doing with your life? I'm on Instagram all the time. Follow me right here. When Jimmy Eat World was on, my brother and I were standing because, um, hello, we're at a concert and we're enjoying the music because we came here to enjoy the music and if we wanted to sit down and listen to music, we would just do it in the car or at home or something. So we're standing up and the guy behind me, like, pulls on my bag, two songs in, and I turn around like, yes, can I help you? He's like, are you going to stand the entire time? And it was so confrontational. I was like, well... Yeah, especially after the way that you just said that. And he's sitting like a seat or two over from me, so I'm not even in front of him, but he's talking for the guy directly behind me. He's like, oh, well, he can't see. Okay. And I kind of like inch over a tiny bit because honestly, I'm not sitting down. Another half a song goes by and he yanks on me again. He's like, well, he paid for his seats. Yes. And so did I. And I'm going to stand. But the energy was just so angry in that little section that we ended up getting up and we went down a section and we found seats that were open and we enjoyed the rest of our concert down there. And what was even worse, when we first stood up, the like four people between us and the aisle thought we stood up to like go get food or drinks or something, not just standing up to enjoy the concert and they all like were trying to get out of our way and it was just, it was such a... Come on guys, you paid for your tickets to enjoy the concert! After a few more songs, and especially during Incubus, the crowd kind of woke up a little bit, but it was just... it was such a damper on my mood. That following Saturday, the same venue, completely different crowd, completely different level of hype, went to go see Muse and 30 Seconds to Mars. I've seen Muse before, I think it was like four or five years ago now at Madison Square Garden, and this was my first time seeing 30 Seconds to Mars live, and I have just, wow. They know how to work a crowd. No one was allowed to be sitting down. Everybody had to be up and participating and screaming along. And just, I felt such a great sense of unity. It was pouring rain the entire time. Thankfully, we had seats that were like underneath an awning, so we were dry. But everyone down there was getting soaked. But they did not care. They were having the time of their lives. Total unity in the fact that we love this music and this is so much fun. And that's what a concert should be. You shouldn't feel shamed for standing up and singing along to your favorite songs. You should all be screaming along and just yelling at the performers on their stage, yelling their words right back at them. I don't know. Just, it was... That one, that concert, 
was really invigorating. <laughs> concerted out at that point and I didn't realize I bought tickets to their show that's like two and a half hours away from me and they were opening for a band for another band for another band and they only ended up playing six or seven songs so I'm kind of happy I ended up not spending five hours in a car for them and sadly on the last Friday of the month I was supposed to see Linkin Park and Blink 182 but a little over a week before the concert was supposed to happen I mean, I'm sure you guys know the bad news, and that was definitely not a July favorite of mine. I'm still, like, trying to comprehend what happened, and it's still so saddening. But that concert obviously didn't happen, and what a sad, somber note to go out on. Let's just, let's just stay positive. Music makes people happy, it brings people together, it is a good thing. And the fact that the loss of his life has touched so many people is a testament to that, to how much music means to people, and I feel like that is why I love concerts so much, because music just, it awakens something in people, and it's just, it brings so many people together. And I guess this is where I end my monthly favorites. In the comment section down below, I would love to hear about if there's any songs or bands that really resonate with you guys and why like is there a story is there a memory a moment a summer a school year something like that that just a song embodies i would love to hear about that i just something about that stuff is so cool to me thank you guys so much for watching this favorites video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me i would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms i always have links to them all in the description box down below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel you totally should i post new videos every tuesday and saturday at 3 p.m eastern standard time and i will see you guys in my next video bye